Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to assemble this Weber charcoal grill. This is the original kettle grill, premium 22 inches. It comes in black, copper and this green. If you want to get it, I'll put a link right below this video. To put this together, you'll need a hammer and Phillips head screwdriver. The guide for assembly is not very helpful. First, put the bowl upside down on a flat surface. It's best to do it on a table. If you're putting it on your patio, put down some cardboard that was in the box the grill came in and put the bowl on top so you don't scratch it up. Place the ash catcher ring on top. Put the handle through the slot and pull towards you. Pull it and try to adjust it. Push it down so that the tabs go into the bottom of the part that holds the legs. There are three legs. Two of them look the same. Leave those aside. We'll be using the third one. There will be three of these parts. One goes inside each leg. Take one just like this with the bottom open and put it inside the leg. The pin will pop out through the hole. The handle of the bowl is here and you're going to put the leg in the holder near the handle. This is the hardest part of putting the grill together. It should be really simple, but for some reason it was made to be unnecessarily difficult. There's no tip or trick to getting the leg in. I've tried everything. I turned the leg back and forth and somehow jammed it in there. Make sure the pin pops out through the hole. Now take one of the two legs that look the same. There are two holes. Put this part into the hole on the right. I put the bowl on a table so it's easier for me to jam the leg in. Put the leg into the holder to the right of the first one you put in. To the right of the handle. This was the hardest leg. After several minutes of cursing, I tried spraying WD-40. That didn't do much either. Then the pin wouldn't pop out and the leg was completely jammed in there. It wouldn't budge. Somehow I pulled it out and there it is. I hope you have better luck with it. Now you get the triangle and put the hook into the hole on the first leg. Put the rod through the second leg. Take the third leg and put the part through the hole on the left. Jam it into the last holder. This leg only took me two minutes. By the way, the triangle will have fallen out of one of the holes, so put it back in and put it in the other leg as well. You'll need two of these hubcaps to put the two wheels on. Put a wheel on, place the hubcap on and hammer it in. If you don't do it correctly, it'll fall off when you put the other wheel on. Put this cap on the first leg you assembled. Now I'll give you another option to put this together. Do the legs, triangle and wheels first and then try to jam all three legs into the holders on the bolt. You can try and see if that way is more efficient. To put the ash catcher in, slide it back like this. Squeeze the handle and it'll fit into the slot. Put the charcoal grate in. There's going to be some grease on it. The cooking grate next. Now attach the handle with the included screw. Here's the handle for the lid. Remove the nuts with the included tool. Put 
Put the handle on the top of the lid, screws through the holes, and tighten the nuts. The thermometer. Screw on the wing nut. And that's it. You're done. There is a hook inside the lid so you can hang it on the side. It's a good idea to get a cover for your grill. This is the thinner, inexpensive cover. There's also a thicker black cover that costs double but will last longer. I used to have that for my Weber gas grill and it lasted for many years. However, since this grill is small and I can wheel it under an awning, it doesn't need as much protection as my large gas grill did. I couldn't move that around. Grilling on this Weber is going to be much easier than putting it together. I hope this assembly video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.